Just a short time ago, we saw Joe Biden make his first joint appearance with his pick for Vice President Kamala Harris. The running mate shared a stage in Delaware this afternoon. Biden's historic choice for a running mate is still getting plenty of buzz today. State Representative Cam Buckner is a good friend of Kamala Harris's, and he joins us now to talk a little bit about her, her being your mentor. You say that it's because of you that you went to law school, because of her, I should say, that you went to law school, right? Yeah, I met the senator about uh, 15 or so years ago. Um, and developed a relationship with, with her, uh, which really uh, helped catapult me and, and push me into the direction of, of legal education. Well, Representative, uh, she's worked the system. She's not uh, someone who's tried to tear down the system. She was a prosecutor, of course. Uh, and one of the things that I hear from the left is that uh, someone who was locking up people um, is someone who has not been about black people. Uh, have you heard enough to satisfy your concerns that her agenda has been about helping black people? Yeah, so what, what this is going to be about, uh, to mind, I think it's about healing and bridging gaps. Um, lawyers uh, are competitive and ambitious by, by, um, by nature. And traditionally, the way that it manifests itself, itself in a prosecutor's office is by tough sentences. But what Senator Harris did throughout her career as a prosecutor um, is, is try to make sure that she was um, you know, doing that in a way that was um, really talking to the passions and, and the, the issues that were at the hearts of the communities that she was serving. Um, you know, there's an age-old age old adage in the legal community that uh, good prosecutors have conviction, uh, uh, win convictions, but great prosecutors have convictions. And I, I'm satisfied that, you know, I know who she is. Um, I know where her passions lie. And I'll tell you this, uh, any of us who are the same person today that we were 20 years ago have has wasted 20 years of life. Tell me this, tell me something that no one else knows about her because you know her personally, something that you really want folks to know about Kamala Harris. And also, how significant is it to have her on the ticket for Joe Biden's win to win? I think, Michael, what's huge about it is that, um, you know, what I know about Senator Harris is that she's insightful, she's thoughtful, um, she's thorough, she's precise. And these are all things that we need in this, in this country at this point in time. She's a student of law, she's a student of politics, and she's a student of, of history. I, I think. You know, her being an HBCU graduate, especially during a time where we are, are having real life conversations about student debt for all Americans, but specifically for uh, minorities. I think her being a daughter of two immigrants during a time where we are having uh, conversations about an administration that chides immigrants on a daily basis, her being a daughter of an activist and a scientist in a country where activism and science are under, under attack. I think all of these things converge to make her the perfect candidate for this very tumultuous um, time in, in our country's history. Yeah, the HBCU grads are lighting up Twitter these days. Uh, as a loyal Democrat representative, is there anything at all that worries you about this uh, pick? And you've seen uh, the president and the Republicans line of attack. Uh, are you concerned that any of that will stick? You know, I expect the tax to be mean, uh, to be nasty, to be to be crude, and for them to be continuous. They've already started. We've seen how the president has reacted to this pick. Um, you know, Donald Trump doesn't like Kamala Harris, and the devil doesn't like holy water. That's not news to any of us. Uh, I think what, what I'm excited about is that she has the ability to connect this country, to connect it both from a regional standpoint and a generational standpoint. I think that there are folks who may have had a little bit of pause about voting for Vice President Biden, and I think that her pick as the VP nomination, a nominee, really uh, eases and assuages some of those fears as well. Black women have been backing Joe Biden for a long time, getting him to where he is now. Do you think that this was a nod to black women in these turbulent times? Yeah, black women have been the base of the Democratic Party for a very long time. Uh, unfortunately, that base hasn't been rewarded. It hasn't been recognized and it's been taken for granted uh, by my party for a very long time as well. And so I, I really applaud this uh, this this pick because it's a step in the right direction to once again unite the country uh, and to make sure that, that that we are all on the same page to move us forward to, to higher ground. And just very quickly, uh, uh, 10 seconds left. When you met her 15 years ago, she was mentoring you. Did you think she would be running for vice president of the United States? You know, it's hard to forecast things like that, uh, but people like Senator Harris who have a certain genese qua, who have a certain um, kind of uh, aura about themselves and who really are just uh, locked in and passionate about the people that they serve, you know, the sky is the limit for them. And so I, I'm, I'm not, uh, I didn't expect this per se. I'm not shocked or surprised that she's assented to this point. All righty, State, Re State Representative Cam Buckner, thank you so much. You know Kamala Harris, so thank you for your insight.